This video is sponsored by Squarespace, more on that later. Hello friends. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the studio. This is the last dedicated video to the studio, but it's not technically done. I've done everything that I kind of need to do. <laughs> the only thing I need still is a garbage can. It's not perfect. The lighting isn't great. I don't have like the best organization system. Not every inch of it is super pretty and aesthetic, but overall it's where it needs to be. And you know, I have a whole year in the studio and I'm sure there will be trinkets I wanna bring in, stuff I wanna put on the walls. So I, I didn't worry about decorating every square inch, making sure it's perfect. I'm sure I'll grow into it. But if not, I think I've also got it to a place that I'm mostly happy with, at least functionality wise. I think kind of the video slash tech side of it could use some help, again, lighting, <laughs> but I've definitely got it to where I can comfortably work out of it. If you didn't see, there's a whole part one of this where I'm moving into the studio, setting stuff up, getting started talking about my goals and stuff, showing what, you know, my, my bedroom studio looks like versus this. This video is going to be kind of the final little details and then the tour, which I'm very, very excited to bring you on. Very excited. This has been so wonderful and so cool. I'm so happy to be here and it's, it's thanks to you and especially my patrons. Your names are on screen. Thank you so much to my patrons. If I didn't have patrons who were willing to support me, I really would not be able to afford this or justify having a studio. If you would also like to support me uh, and you want some fun stuff out of it, Patreon is a really great way to do that. Every month we do fun exclusive stuff like a postcard and a sticker that gets mailed to you. You can even go all out and get a monthly original. There's also an exclusive podcast and exclusive bonus video. You also get some early access and behind the scenes stuff like my patrons were the first people to know that I got a studio. So I'm incredibly grateful to them. If you're not a patron and you haven't checked it out already, please go do so. But either way, if you're just watching this, thank you. You. It's it's all thanks to you guys that I'm able to do this and I am so so appreciative. This is more than a dream come true. I never even let myself dream of having this much space. So much so that it was overwhelming at first when I was setting it up because I just didn't know what to do with so much space. But it's it's really, really cool now that I have it, now that I'm here. I'm I'm just so grateful for it. It's been a really cool, crazy journey. Um, and if you haven't seen that that first video, go check that out just so you know what we're working with. But without further ado, uh, let's get into the last dedicated video <laughs> introducing my new art studio. Let's go. I'm sure I look so green. It is April 3rd. It's about to storm. There's wind. So officially the bulletin board has been put up. If I don't know if you can see it in frame, but there is better lighting now. The lighting is very blue, but it's, I like, I like crisp lighting. Like it's not the most comfortable, but I will get used to it. But I can actually see now. I hate dimly lit stuff. Anyways, the point is I've got some furniture. I've got some fun furniture. Furniture I is it's way too big. Um, so we are going to, and also because of like setting stuff up, everything is in the wrong place right now. I don't have all the furniture that I want. I still would really like to get a filing cabinet for prints, but for now, I've got something that works. So we're going to, I can't really work in these conditions either. Um, and I'm getting really sick of everything just being jumbled. So we're gonna make it look cute. Let's, let's begin. <laughs>
a hot minute since I've done any like actual work. There's only been changes. I've gotten some things kind of figured out what I want to do, but a lot of work still needs to be done and a lot of decorating still needs to be done. The goal today is to set up kind of the final major things, put stuff up on the walls, and then hopefully from there, it should just be as time passes, I get things in order. Another update, I got these lights put in and I'm sure the camera is freaking out. So let me turn them back off. I didn't get them put in. My dad put them up for me, um, but they're LED and they just flicker way too fast for the camera. I cannot figure out how to get the camera to not band with those lights on. <laughs> they are still useful, like at night I use them, and I'm sure in the winter when it gets dark early, I will appreciate them, but the point was to have them for filming, so I wouldn't have to be setting up lights all the time every time I want to film something. Neither of the cameras like the lights, so really great. I have a little Ikea haul. These are super, super cheap, so I got 10 of them. I already have some, and I think I want to color organize hello <laughs> i want to color organize all of my colored pencils and leave them in the tray in the three tier cart next to my desk i got some of these bins to fit stuff up here and then i also got this was for seven dollars i need a rug to put under like the easel when i'm painting whenever i'm doing art stuff that i don't want to damage the floors and i've been looking for it on facebook marketplace i couldn't find anything so this was six dollars it's ugly but it is big enough um and it's i mean i like the colors well enough so i got this and this will be going underneath the easel yesterday I just I started to set up do stuff on the walls and I did the filing cabinet 
I couldn't break the things. So I got my dad to do it this morning. <laughs> so we're gonna put the filing cabinet together, finally. Hope and pray that I did the right size. I just have a gut feeling I didn't. Hopefully they fit and we can actually do the filing cabinet. Um, and then yesterday I just stopped putting stuff on the walls because I hit a point where I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I went home. So we're going to finish putting stuff up on the walls. And then the last thing to do is bring the bowling shoes painting and little knickknacks. And then we'll be done. Let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace has been a wonderful support to this channel and I really appreciate it because I love Squarespace and what they offer. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform that allows creatives, freelancers, business owners, entrepreneurs, etc., to make a beautiful website and stand out online. They really have everything you could possibly need in one place. You can use it as a storefront so you can have your physical goods, your digital goods, services, anything you might sell, Squarespace is fully ready to support you. If you're doing something in person like an art market, perhaps. You can also use it as your POS, your point of sale. Just hook up your Squarespace app to a Square Reader and then boom, it's all in sync, it's all connected. It's also an incredibly customizable website and it's really easy to customize. It's something that can be really, really difficult for a lot of people, but Squarespace is incredibly easy to customize. You can start with a template, which are always stunning and beautiful and will work for whatever you have in mind, but if there's, you know, some tweaking needed. You can use Fluid Engine to customize every inch of your website. So whatever you're doing, Squarespace really is going to have you fully covered all the way from functional functionality to meeting all of your business needs to aesthetics. It's all there. If that's something that interests you, if you are a business owner, a creative, a freelancer, whatever, and you want to represent yourself online professionally, Squarespace is the way to go. You can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And whenever you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash lilastarnard, save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring. Now let's tour the studio. Hi friends, welcome to my studio. So this is the entryway <laughs> and it's pretty blank. It's, it's still a work in progress, right? I'm gonna be here for a year, but there's time to figure it out. Over here, there's this blank wall. The only thing up here is some stuff that I have like commissioned. I'm thinking this would be also a cool spot to include, you know, some of the people send me fan art or like their own art. And I want that in a specific spot. I think this would be a cool place for that. I don't know. But right now, lots of empty space. Over here is the dining table. This is where guests sit. <laughs> it's really cute. It's, really it's also my landing spot. I really wanted some sort of like little cabinet or, or bureau, I don't know, like something here that I could use as my landing spot to drop all of my stuff. I haven't found anything yet. Um, and so the table has mainly been functioning that way. It's clean right now, but I'm here the entire table is covered in all of my bags and camera equipment and everything that I'm sorting through throughout the day. Here's the bowling painting. I hung it a little low. She's a little low, um, but it's fine. It's still cute. When I first got the table, my mom saw it and she's like, oh my God, hold on. She ran to the other room, she grabs the painting and she brought it back out and she was like, they vibe so well together. And she was right, they do. We've got the 50s diner thing. We've got the old, old bowling alley. It works. But besides that, this area is also pretty blank. Um, I had pictured having some sort of coat rack over here for aprons and my sweatshirt, 
And that might still happen, but I'm trying to avoid putting stuff on the walls as much as possible, like drilling into the wall, and I don't want a standing coat rack. So maybe I'll just put up some command hooks over here or something. I don't know. Again, work in progress, but yeah, kind of a blank spot. But I consider this the lounge area. Like originally I was gonna put an armchair over here. I don't really have space for that now, but this is kind of like the lounge area. And from here, forward is the actual studio. So this is my Viswin easel. <sighs> she's in the way. She's an obstacle wherever I go. Every turn that I take, she's a nuisance. <laughs> but I love her and I can't do art without her, frankly. I've decided that she's a, she's a necessary evil. Here's the rug. It's here for now. I need to get some non-slip stuff. Uh, I don't know if it'll stay on the floor forever because honestly it's ugly, but it was cheap. But yeah, I've got my aprons here. It's set to the shortest setting right now. It's obviously not set up to be painting. No, I have not made any progress on the self-portrait. We'll get there. Here's my internet stuff. Not interesting, not cool. Here is ugly storage. Honestly, this section right here, not my favorite, not the cutest, not the most aesthetic. Here's some miscellaneous stuff. This is a Home Depot mini bucket. My mother very kindly thought of me and she was like, you don't have a sink in there. So I figured you could have water in here. So this is my system for right now is when I'm doing something that needs like a lot of, a lot of water um, or cleaning of pallets. And I don't want to ruin the sinks here. Obviously I have this bucket. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. I haven't done anything that, that needs that. We'll see how it goes. And then this is just basic storage. I've got paper towels in here. Down here is like containers, like my empty Prismacolor tin, um, my, my bags to take markers places, stuff like that. And then down here I have my Ziploc, giant Ziploc bags of all the stickers that I have and all my extra washi tape. It's, it's pretty miscellaneous. It's working, it's working well. I need some ugly storage, you know what I'm saying? Like not everything <laughs> can be perfect and pretty. This is a bookshelf that I got from Facebook Marketplace. It's way bigger and way heavier, heavier than I thought it would be. Thank God, because I actually needed a lot more space than I thought I did. This I did want to be aesthetic, um, the top at least, because it's it's visible. I had this idea of having like a lot of surfaces that I would be decorating cutely. I don't have a lot of surfaces, so I did want to take advantage of this one. I have stuff up here. I didn't want to fill up everything, uh, because I, I'll be here a while, I want room to grow. But it did start with this one. I ordered this forever ago from Emily and I put it in this frame that I thrifted and I love so much. I was really excited to hang it up, but then I never redid my, my walls at home. And so I, I haven't been able to look at it <laughs> at all. And so I really wanted uh, to put this front and center somewhere. So I put this up here and then everything else kind of went with it. So what I thought would kind of go together. I think it's really cute. Anyways, um, I have this little paper organizer. This has been with me from the beginning. Like this is probably one of the first organizational things that I bought and it has always played a really vital part of my, my studio setup. So right now it's not, but I, I didn't want to get rid of it because I know it can be really, really useful. And I wouldn't be surprised if later it does turn into something a little bit more important. Right now it's just holding uh, paper scraps that can be, they're big enough to maybe be used, paper scraps that I use to test markers. Uh, a marker sleeve thing, and then I have these two little boxes. This is a cigar box that I thrifted. It's, it's just really pretty and cute. I haven't found any art supplies to put in it yet, but I do want it to store art supplies. And then I have this little uh, like tin lunchbox crane box thing, and it just holds things like post-its. Then over here, this is partly for aesthetic purposes to have art supplies up here, and also because I have run out of space over there. Um, so I just have like a little, a few little tins of things, um, pen type stuff, liners, black and white acrylic pens, and Tombos. Down here, this is all ugly stuff. Uh, I have these little drawers that I got from Ikea. They're just holding basically tech equipment, so I have like mic type stuff, um, lighting stuff, and camera, like I have uh, a lav mic thing and a dummy battery. And then I also have uh, this paintbrush holder. Paint just came off of it. And it's just here to take up space. <laughs> okay, so I've got all of my sketchbooks here, which is wonderful that they're all fitting in one spot. Back home I had them stacked vertically and they had, they had maxed out the space. There was no more room for any more sketchbooks. 
So the fact that like there's all like cause this whole shelf can be rearranged and be just sketchbooks and that'll be great. So there's so much room for them to grow. It's really nice that they're not constantly sliding off and falling over because I, I also stack them in like oldest to newest. These are the oldest and they're much smaller than the newest. So it was constantly toppling over. It was just really annoying. Uh, then I've got my Nat Geo's here as well as my mic and some paintings. Down here I have all of my art books. Again, just really nice that they're visible and reachable. <laughs> here is my, where I used to store all of my oil paints in. Now I have all of the extra tubes of paint um, and all different kinds of paint. But so if I have any duplicates, they're in there. Then here's just extra storage stuff, things like extra uh, business card, I guess not storage, but like random stuff, like extra sticker paper, extra business cards, thank you cards, um, leftover ornaments from Christmas, just little tiny tidbits. And then over there is large pads of paper. Some of them are used, some of them aren't, just, to, just paper stuff, really, like nothing uh, particular, sketchbooks, spiral bound sketchbooks, things that I don't, I don't really use um, often or extras, basically. My favorite part of the studio, the prettiest part, the coolest part, the most exciting part, the art supplies. Just, how cool is this? So this is an Ikea cubby, a four Ikea cubby. I think I've had this actually a couple of years, not that long, but a while, but you know what it is. I get questions about this all the time. These are not available, and even when they were available, they didn't look like this, but they are Michael's um, storage cubbies but originally they only had the dividers in the top and then they were empty on the bottom and my dad made extra dividers. Every time I show these in a video, I get questions about where those are from. They haven't been made in a long time and they weren't even made like that originally. <laughs> this little crate thing I got from the Facebook marketplace and I just spray painted it green. It works really well. I was worried that it wasn't gonna hold the Ohus, but it holds all of the Ohus and then some. This has actually been working really, really well for marker storage. I don't know what it is or where it's from, but I think it would probably be in most craft places. It's definitely like the lady that I bought it from use it for craft storage uh, and it, it works really great. So if you want something like this, I have no idea where to find those. I would suggest settling for something like this because this is great. One thing that has been a little tough about having my markers over here is that, you know, in the Ahu bag, I could pull them with me anywhere can't do that now and so i had these i never ever used these but i realized because i can't like bring the whole bag of markers over with me and test whatever markers i want i kind of have to pull the markers that i want bring them over it was actually really really helpful to have this here and i've been using these now um, so this system is working well like i said it's not the most ideal it's a little inconvenient but one it's super aesthetic and cool so it pays off but two i'm i'm definitely understanding that there is no actually convenient way to store art supplies. It's always going to be a little inconvenient. I can't have literally everything within arm's reach, impractical, uh, impossible. So this is, I think, as practical as it can be while also still being really pretty. And then up here I have my little Chucky head, a vase that my best friend made in high school, and I think she's going to throw it away, and I was like, <laughs> I want it because I love you. And a little baby. Over here I just have some paint brushes, they're just there to, to use up this extra space. Um, this top of the Ikea that is exposed generally just gets filled with, I mean, it hasn't really happened yet because I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell you that it's gonna be filled with like pieces that I'm currently working on, sketchbook that I'm currently in, that kind of stuff, the, the floaty stuff. The cubby, the cubbies. So top left, I have basically watercolor stuff. I have, I didn't hang up any of the watercolor tubes. I have one too many and also i don't i don't use them enough to justify taking up a bunch of space on the pegboard uh so i have my box of a lot of different brands i have my all my different palettes this is where one of those things that it's like i'm still tetrising them like it's not the best organized um it's it's still kind of the same issues that i had before but way way less bad like there's way less stuff in each cubby i am gonna have to be doing you know some reaching around and stuff but it's, it's still gonna be way, way better than before. Uh, but yeah, so I have inks and just some miscellaneous stuff in here. It's fine. Top right, I have gouache stuff, uh, and then I have these little like crayon things. I just felt like maybe they were somewhat similar to gouache. <laughs> so I put the, it's like, see, like these just don't, they're not good for like storage of things because I have, if I didn't have it there, look at how much empty space would be up there. But then now I put that here and I have to reach around it to get the gouache. I don't love it, but what can I do? Uh, and then just have a random palette that didn't fit anywhere else because it's it's glass. Down here I have pastels, soft pastels, hard pastels, chalk pastels, colored liners, crayons. Um, 
yeah, down here I have uh, sketchbooks, paper pads, painting surfaces. I don't know why this is separate from the ones in the bookshelf. Like, I don't know what the distinction is. It's just kind of what ended up happening. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what the difference is, but there's also like some loose paper. I just kind of had that extra space left over and I had all that stuff, so. Now for arguably the coolest, most fun, pretty part is the paint pegboard. I got this pegboard for like $5 from Facebook Marketplace, but you can buy it anywhere. And then the hooks I got from, from Amazon, they're cheap, but they're also red and pretty. Okay, so let me explain to you the organization here. I find it very fun and very satisfying. I had so much fun, so much fun organizing this and redoing it over and over. So over here, I have my oil paints and they are organized in rainbow order, obviously. Down here, I have my water soluble oil paints. See those big three tubes over there? Didn't know I owned those. No, I thought they were oils. I didn't know they were water soluble. Here I have print making stuff, um, some tools. Then down here I have my palettes. It's gonna be genuinely so nice to have this here because storing them before I would just stack them on top of each other and then throw them on my cart and they would always stick to each other and like it was it was a mess. They would get really dirty. So I think just being able to have them like they're not touching anything, I think it'll be good. Then over here, I have my acrylic paints again in rainbow order. I have like each different like color sectioned off from each other. I find it very satisfying. Then I have um, pearlescent acrylics. And then so like a lot of these colors like this tube, like I have so many duplicates of, or not this one, I did, but I'm down to my last one. Like this tube, I have so many duplicates of. And before, um, when all of my paints were all together in one bucket, I would just grab whichever was the easiest to use, which means that there are all, there are a lot of like ones that look like this that are almost done, but I would avoid finishing them. So now that I have only, I can only see one, like there's only one available, I'll actually be able to finish a tube. And then I can check my bucket to see if I have any more before I go buy more paint. So I think this system is just gonna be better for me overall. Anyways, I have my acrylic gouache down here and then my, my gouache here. Very fun, very pretty, very satisfying. And then I just have a ruler, but literally I, I love it so much. It's so satisfying, so pretty. <laughs> now for the other end of the studio. This part is so fun and so pretty to me. Light comes in from this window all the time. It's so, it's so beautiful. Also, I know I've mentioned it so many times, but I do have bird buddies. They sit and bang on the window all day. It's really fun. I feel like I have little studio pets. It's really cute. Anyways, I've got these two windows um, and I love them. So over here, these corners are kind of probably not a great use of space, but for aesthetic purposes, I really want this stuff to remain clear and empty. Also, like, this is where I do my filming, right? So like I want it to, I want it to be easy to move around. That's really important to me. I hate constantly tripping over stuff and having a thousand plugs and, and cords and everything. So it's really important to me that the floor space stays clean, that I have paths that I can walk through. Um, so even though this probably isn't great use of space, it's working for me right now. I have two of my paintings up over here and then here is just miscellaneous. I would love to find a better way to store this stuff, but I don't, I don't know of anything. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. It's like not in the way. But I have the tabletop easel, which I have not used. Guys, I'm a little worried I wasted money on it. It's fine. <laughs> um, I do need to get some like non-slip stuff so I can actually use it because right now it just slides around on top of the table. Here we have my little cart. How cute. I really like it being next to the desk. It's something that I saw on Pinterest. It was not something that I considered. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna need the cart anymore. Uh, like what am I gonna do with it? Like I don't, it, it's always been used to store like all of my paint. But um, I was like, there, you know, there are some things that I need to be in reach all the time, like next to where, wherever I'm doing art, and this is the dedicated art desk. So I was like, actually, that's a perfect use for it. And so that's what it is. But so, yeah, this is my flexi spot desk. Um, this is where I do all of the art, the drawing, where I spend like th this is yeah, it's where I do art. If I'm filming a video, I'm probably here. And then here is the Michaels cart. I spray painted it, which you guys saw in the last video, the last studio video. And I think it turned out really, really cute. I love the alternating colors. I just think it's really fun. So let me give you a little cart tour. This is all the stuff that I like to have on hand, really easy to reach. Right here I have like my regular stuff. So my sketching supplies, um, pencils, eraser, sharpener. I have my Krylon fixative spray and then I have all of my colored pencils. I rainbow ordered them. I love it. It's so satisfying, so beautiful. And then I had some extra space up here. So I just added in some other supplies 
that I feel like I will use semi-frequently. So I have like Posca-esque pens, like acrylic markers, and then graphite supplies, which I actually never use. So I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea to put here, but it's done. Down here I have a palette and palette type stuff. I also have gesso, um, palette knives, and some water cups. I didn't really have anywhere else to put those. I don't think that's a great spot for them. Like, I don't think that's the, I don't know, but where else are they gonna go? Like, I don't know. And then in here, I just don't remember. Oh, I think it's extra supplies, yeah. So in here I have palettes that I very rarely use and all of my extra supplies. So like I have like a thousand red sketching pencils. Over here, like I said, not a great use of space. It's very, very, and very empty. I just feel like this would be a really good spot to put a tripod and get like a nice wide shot of the studio. I feel like it would be cool and fun. So I'm trying to keep this space empty, except for all of this stuff. Um, <laughs> it's the only place that I can really put this stuff. Again, there are some things that just haunt me. They follow me everywhere. And that includes the canvas. Like in my room, the canvas were in such an annoying spot and I just couldn't find a better spot for them. And this isn't necessarily an annoying spot, but I can't find a better spot for them. They're still just kind of in the way. <laughs> but yeah, here's where I keep canvas as well as um, photo paper. That's already happened a couple of times. I really need, I need to stick it up better. I feel like it's gonna happen a lot because I'm only using command hooks in here. <laughs> we'll ignore it. Obviously the art supplies are objectively the prettiest, coolest part of the studio, but I'm not gonna lie, the desk section might be like my aesthetically favorite part. Like, I don't know what it is, but it just makes me really happy and satisfied. This is another FlexiSpot desk. This is also from FlexiSpot, the little desktop stand thing. I love this addition to my setup. This is where I do obviously all of my computer stuff. I do um, my order packaging, editing, things that require a computer. <laughs> I don't know, I do a lot of, I do a lot of, I spend a lot of my day here. Um, what's really nice, obviously this is a standing desk. Oh, this this chair I got from Facebook Marketplace, but I think it's on Amazon. This is where I got it from. It's actually really comfortable. Obviously this gets raised. So I put this stuff up on the walls with the idea that like, it will also look like this sometimes. I'll show it to you sitting down. Um, so I've got my label printer over there. I've got kind of like office supplies type of stuff. Uh, washi tape, tape, cute decorations. Also, I have a horizontal mouse I got from Amazon. I have carpal tunnel. This has really helped, just in case you were wondering. And then when I'm packaging orders, this stuff goes down here. I have all this space. I've done art over here like once or twice um, if I'm like I don't know if it's like something really, really simple, fast, whatever, but generally I don't do art over here. Um, and the only reason I need this space clear is to package orders. But yeah, everything over here, this whole system has worked out really, really well. I'm really loving it. Yeah, and then and then just stuff on the walls. This is stuff that I was like, specifically what is stuff that I find inspiring and beautiful. And then this is stuff that just, the, the vibe just really went well together. It really came together. And then this is where I keep my water bottle. So I am currently sitting on a filing cabinet, got from Facebook Marketplace, don't know where it's from, but it came this color and I was like, that's perfect. Like that's exactly what I wanted. And then in here I have all of my prints. The bottom drawer is empty right now. I don't have that many prints, <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, so hopefully over time it'll be filled up with other stuff. Whether I use it for just regular storage or I make more prints. Here I have stickers. It looks a little silly cause they're, they're winging it a little bit. <laughs> they're off the side but uh, I wanted them next to each other and that was the only way they fit and it, it's working. Up here I have envelopes and just other like miscellaneous packing stuff, all the stickers. I put the pins in here, which worked really well. Glassine bags. Um, I did have, so before I kept my prints in a big like traveling file organizer. And so that was here and the, the zines were up here. And then I, Got the filing cabinet, so it's a little rearranged. So this is probably also not permanent. It's probably also gonna change and help maybe fill up a little bit more. I don't know, but right now it's actually just super functional uh, and very easy and very convenient. Workflow has been great <laughs> and I love it. And then over here, I got this postcard rack from Facebook Marketplace. I wanted one when I was doing markets and I couldn't find one except for like a hundred bucks. This one was 20. And I just keep all of my, my Patreon exclusive postcards over here. And it looks really cute and really fun. And I really love it. Not necessarily practical anymore. Like I don't need it anymore, but also I didn't have a way to store them before either. Like now I could probably put them in the filing cabinet, but before I got the filing cabinet, I had no way to store them. They were just all in one giant stack. So this actually, it does help with organization. Maybe not the most practical way, but they are now organized and stored 
and they look really cute. And then here's where I keep my, I hang up my keys and then I also keep a bag here for when I'm packing orders and then I have to take them somewhere. The post office, where else would they go? And then there's a cord hanging down and that is for the LED lights that I can't turn on because it'll ruin the camera. And that's it. That's the studio, that's the tour. How fun is that? All right, friends. That's it, that's my studio. I am so excited about it. I'm in love with it. It is, it's really become my favorite place to be. It's become my happy place. There are definitely downsides. It's not perfect. It's in a business plaza. It's not an art studio. There's no sink in here. There are downsides. The rent is super cheap. <laughs> so it's kind of, it kind of pays off. But at the end of the day, this, is, this space is mine. It's fully mine and I love it <laughs> and it's already made working so much more enjoyable for me. I want to do a video on this later after I've had some time to settle in, but I've already seen just wonderful benefits from having this dedicated space for art. M my quality of life has increased and I'm just really, really grateful. And I think if I, if I hadn't made this change, I would have been crashing and burning at this point. So I'm just incredibly, incredibly grateful and really excited about the future and just feeling really good really good. And again, I need to stress so much that that's like, thanks to you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting me. But yeah, that's the studio. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope I answered where things came from. The answer being Ikea or it's thrifted slash not available anymore. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions about organization. Not that my organization is the best. I'm hoping that it will kind of grow and get better over time. But I'm, I've come to learn that I just don't think there is like a super efficient best way to organize anything art related. No matter what, it's going to be somewhat inconvenient. So it might stay like this forever. I don't know. But I can tell you that seeing all of my supplies on display is incredibly rewarding and fun. That's it. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again for everything. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring. Make sure you check them out. And without further ado, I'm going to leave you to it. <laughs> I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. See you next time.